All right, you ready to see what I found? I cannot wait, I am breathless. This breakfast nook doesn't have a ton of furniture, but what's here is quality stuff. So when I show Julia the seating I found, I feel the need to point out that they're vintage with a metal base and original seat cushions that can easily be recovered. I like those a lot. I'm, I'm Honestly, I, I would have chosen those. Really? Another project. Mm -hmm. Well, because you know your your reaction was a little suspect there. No, my reaction was why didn't I find those first? Oh, that's what super. I was actually thinking. That is the reaction I look for. Not a bad start. One for one. So the next one, I know you're gonna like <laughs> because I was really confident about this one, and I have to tell you, the splurge found me. I show Julia the custom banquette design I came up with to see if it wins her approval. Wow. And not only is this the shape. But the fabric was really similar in color too. Now it's not sliced lemons, but it's the same colors. It's and with the same contrasting color, right? Right. It's it's great. It's not happy. Too bad. It's happy. That was what we were going for with our fabric. I happy breakfast. Happy nook. times two. <laughs> I love it. All right, I'm glad Julia's on board with my splurge. But in case you don't want to splurge for your own breakfast nook. Check out Cost Plus World Market for a smaller neutral banquet you can dress up with pillows. Okay, so we are moving on to the next category. Bring it on. Which was the table. Anyway, so this table was an original Herman Miller. I don't know how the price compares. My Herman Miller table is an original designer piece. This is not a good place to cheap out because it's gonna be getting a lot of use. Right. I justified my $800 pick here. Well, I I think you did very well with price. Yes. Um, the base is just a little bit not quite as um, <laughs> unique, I suppose, I would say. Than you were choosing our the words carefully. Well, but I love it. And that's an iconic table. I just like I just like the ta our table a little bit better because the base is different. But I really like it. Again, <laughs> Rochelle, you know, all your sunny disposition fits the room. I like it. You're like, well, it doesn't work for these 500 reasons, but I really like it. No, it's not 500. It's just <laughs> the base. Just the one. As we move on to storage, I'm feeling a little more confident about this one. Well, I want to explain it before you give me your feedback, okay? Okay. Um, I know it's killing you because I know you have thoughts. <laughs> So this piece, it was purposely left unfinished at the store that I found it at, that whoever purchased it could tell them what color and finish they wanted it and then could add the knobs that they wanted. Great idea. Um, I love that I love the size, I love the scale, I love the concept that you can create your own color and uh -huh. pick your own um, hardware, yeah. which most of the time you're replacing or we're stripping and and paying right. to have repainted. Um, this piece is really, it's, this is a, a winner. The light. I explained to Julia that I had a couple great options, but the one I ultimately chose matched the silver in the base of that table that I found. That's great thinking, because that's very important to keep those finishes that's similar. Not necessarily matching, but in the same family. Right, so that's why I decided to go with the silver, and this is Huge. You really need a diffuser at some point, which is very easy to add later. That's what I was going to ask. Mm -hmm. You could add a diffuser? You can add a diffuser. Okay. It's time for Julia's final judgment. You did a fantastic job finding the feel of what I was going for in this space. Uh -huh. um, even though the pieces aren't obviously identical, they would create a beautiful space nonetheless on their own. So I think you've done, you, you, you brought it home. I did. You brought it oh, home. Oh, I like it. I'm going back to look at that cabinet. Oh, good. Uh, I, I want to see that cabinet. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Mix modern pieces with antique pieces with texture and lighting and color, and to bring it all together um, to create a fantastically warm space. So here's to a fantastic episode. Remember Yay! the moment. Yay! Because it is breakfast nook after all. We must have a crispy You're going to eat with me, here. right? Of course I am. <laughs> Wouldn't miss it. There we Cheers. go. Cheers. Julia's high-end breakfast nook, including that indestructible table, vintage chairs, and custom banquette, costs more than $1,800.